with this bulldog right here. Look at the perks. This is my first commentary, by the way. It's been a long time coming. But fuck it. <clears throat> this whole commentary is about, you know, how, you know, running with a team is very important in this game. Um, you know, basically, you can't join Team Deathmatch by yourself and expect to get a win. Um, because you can't, you basically have to run with a crew to guarantee the win, basically. You know, people don't know how to play this game. <laughs> that's, that's basically what it comes down to. Um... You know, unless you, you could play free for all and expect to get wins, but you know, if you join Team Deathmatch or any other game mode that requires teamwork, you know, don't don't expect to win if you're running with a bunch of randoms. Um, you know, basically in this gameplay, I go pretty, I go ham. I went 28 and 8, I think, um, and we lost. Um, it's pretty frustrating when you get over 20 kills and your team still decides they want to lose. But, you know, this is what the whole gameplay is about. Um, let me go ahead and I'll talk about my perks on the shotgun. I'm running with the Bulldog. <clears throat> the, main, the main perks you really want to run with shotguns in general. First of all, you want to run with Dead Silence. Because, you know, you want to be able to flank around your enemy without them hearing you, of course. You know, it only makes sense. You know, you got to get close range to kill them. So, Dead Silence should be like the number one perk you put on a shotgun. Um, I also like to run with lightweight and marathon, you know, to get to you know, point A to point B faster than everybody else. Also, active. you know, flanking as well. You know, when I die right there, the guy basically spawned right down there. I just killed him up top. Anyways, but back to what I was saying. Um, you know, you wanna you wanna be able to flank around your enemies fast. You know, so you definitely wanna run with lightweight and marathon as well. Um, just back to what I was saying about teamwork though, you know, you just can't play these game modes without, you know, uh, a team that's on the same stature as yourself, basically. Um, you know, that's why I'm, I'm very happy that I'm in a clan right now, you know, because these niggas love to win. And by the way, I die right here because I was thinking our teammate was looking the other way. And these sides look in the same direction as me. That's an example of uh, you know playing with unintelligent teammates. You know you you have to play with people that that know how to play this game. Enemy satcom spotted. But you know people probably wonder why I'm running with a shotgun on this map. You can play with a shotgun on any map technically. You know you just gotta play intelligent. You know you can't be running all in the open and shit. You know, expecting to get you know. Expecting to do a good game, have a good game. You know, you, you, that's just not intelligent. You have to, you know, use the edges of the map. You know, don't run in the middle of the map. That's just, you know, shotgun 101. No, I'm using the bulldog. It's not really my favorite shotgun, but you know, it's, it's pretty good. It reminds me of the striker. You know, the shotguns are not really bad in this game. But I'm just, you know, filling out the map, trying to see where they're mainly at right now. No, and then also you'll notice in this video that, you know, we're winning the whole fucking time, you know, until the end. And you'll see, like, damn, niggas do really suck. So, like, you know, see how I'm going, like, underground and shit? I'm not running in the open, you know. I hear footsteps up there. I'm jumping up there. Oh. <laughs> that nigga rage. Oh. And look, teammate's still worried about where I'm at. You know, he could have killed that guy a long time ago if he would have ran the other direction as I killed the other guy. It's just, you know, called intelligence. Uh -huh. These guys start raging the whole game, by the way. It's pretty hilarious. You know, they're like shotgun guy, and they're a whole squad. You know, they're, they're communicating with each other. You know, it's also important to have a mic in this game as well. It's because, you know, you don't, you know you have to communicate with your teammates. You know, see, see how I'm flanking these guys? You know, that's the main thing you want to do. I noticed that they start going in this building a lot, so I'll stay here for a minute. Where is the lead? Scavenger. 
And you'll just just hear them out. You'll you'll hear them start calling out where I'm at. You know, even though there's, there's a point in time where they really can't do nothing about it, but they're still communicating. So that's you know that's the main that's the main thing you want to do in team deathmatch is communicate. And any game mode in general that requires team See, look at that. Look at that flank though. Look at that. Nigga, he couldn't do shit about that. There's nothing that you can do about that. And also your reaction time with a shotgun has to be, you know, you have to be on point. You have to know how to hip fire. You know, don't aim in with a shotgun unless you have to. Uh, you know, because you actually shoot faster when you're hip firing than when you're actually aiming in. It takes about, you know, 0.3 seconds to aim in with most guns. I'm not, you know, I'm, don't quote me on that. I'm not, you know, completely sure, but you know, that point three seconds can mean your life, motherfucker. So that's why you just hit fire. And also, ready up is another perk that's very important. Um, you know, ready up. Make sure your gun is ready. Uh, you no, know, a lot faster at the sprint. Very important with shotguns. Got my specialist boner. I call that shit specialist boner. <laughs> nah, but uh. I got Amplify as one of my specialist perks. You hear the footsteps really clear. Um, as I said, like they they can't do anything about what I'm doing right now. You know, they basically all they're gonna do is communicate. Look, he, there was nothing that that guy can do. Nothing. They're coming after me. I hear footsteps. Oh, oh got you, dumbass. See, look, he's tolling out to his teammates. He's down below. He's down below. A friendly satcom active. That's what you have to do to be, you know, successful in team deathmatch. You can't play with a bunch of randoms and expect to win. You know, um, I'm trying, but you know. God damn, dude. It's like, you know, nothing you can do about it. I'm just staying in that vicinity because I, I know they're gonna keep trying to come after me for revenge kills. So, you know, that's a smart way to play. Um, you know, you don't want to be all up in the same spot, though. You want to try to change your position up, you know, every once in a while. Okay. And I died down here because they decided to spawn them down here for some fucking reason. Anyways. And another thing, the, the spawn system in this game sucks. Like, I love Ghosts, um, you know, in general. It's a pretty good game, pretty balanced. Uh, I don't have a complaint about the hit detection. Um, it's just the spawning. Uh, and the maps are horrible as well. This is a horrible map, by the way. This is not, by far, not one of my favorite maps in this game. Uh, the spawning in the maps are what's, uh, you know, the downfall of this game. You know, the biggest gripe to me is the spawning. It's like, and then another thing, like, the teammates know that they're going back to that building over and over again, and nobody's even thinking about going over there. Everybody's just sitting in one spot. You know, not giving a fuck. I mean, you just find the best corner, the best darkest corner, and wait for somebody to run past me. That's basically what people do, you know, to get good KDs. I mean, my KD's not, you know, amazing. But at the same time I run around, I like to make the game fun. I'm not going to sit in a corner. I didn't pay $60 to sit in a corner. Yeah, the shotgun, dude. People pay 60 and then plus I get the season pass as well and still be sitting in corners like yeah I'm just gonna purchase this game to find the best darkest corner in history and sit there until somebody runs past me that's another thing you know I don't get I just waste mad money just sitting in a corner <clears throat> anyways you see you see our score right it's like man we're about to win this game you know, 68, 62, 68, 63 right now it's like there's no way that we should have lost this game, but we did, and you'll see why and what happens in a minute. Should makes no sense. And I'm getting shot at. I died because nobody wants to go to that building. They keep going to that building, and nobody understands. Hey, maybe we should go to this building and support our teammates. No, I'm just gonna stay in this corner. And pray that somebody comes next to me. Time's almost up. It's like you know, look, it's set, look, they got a sentry gun in there. They put that sentry gun in there for me. <laughs> so this motherfucker ain't going to the building no more. But 
Yep, I'm just running around. I hear footsteps up top, but I can't go up there because there's a sentry gun. Um, and then we just lose the lead like right at the last seconds right there. And then I'm dead because oh, niggas are dumb as fuck. Mortal story. Don't run by yourself in this game. Man, I died. I died for no reason right there. Going after somebody behind their back. Damn straight. I was fucking them up and they knew it. Fuck this game. Anyways, just don't run by yourself in this game. Um, you know, shout out to my my niggas, Mark City bitch. Shout out to my girl, Freaky Nena. Cisco the Ruler. Gata. Nesto. Ninja. Q. Forgot, if I forgot anybody else, I'm sorry. But those are the name people I run with. Anyways, it's your boy Black Dynamite. First commentary. Peace out.